Well, uh, first and foremost, as a member of the uh, Education Committee of the Nebraska Legislature, uh, one of my objectives is to improve educational outcomes for all youngsters uh, across the state of Nebraska. Uh, we have to deal with uh, the lack of achievement that we're seeing in many of our schools, and I'm particularly concerned about the achievement gaps that exist between children of color and those who are not of color, as well as children in poverty and those who are not in poverty. So uh, educational outcome and improving those outcomes is one of my priorities. Um, one of the other areas of concern for me uh, is the foster care system uh, in our state and continuing uh, the reform uh, that I believe absolutely must occur uh, to ensure the best outcomes for children and families in this state. Uh, we, have, we have still far too many out-of-home placements. Uh, youngsters and their families aren't getting the kind of uh, services that they need. Uh, the privatization effort, uh, in my opinion, is an absolute uh, failed effort, and we need to continue our efforts to reform that and provide uh, the best services that we can to children and families in this, case, in this state. Uh, I would also um, fight to continue uh, and maintain prenatal care for all low-income women in this state. Uh, when you start thinking about educational outcomes and know the connection uh, between low birth weight uh, babies and uh, their potential academic achievement, uh, you certainly see uh, the emergency and the urgency uh, associated with making sure uh, that all women, but particularly low-income women, uh, receive proper uh, prenatal care so that uh, their children are born healthy uh, and that, that increases the likelihood that they'll perform well uh, academically. Focusing on the points that I've raised as my priorities, these are all issues uh, that have a particular impact on the residents of District 11. Although they are all issues of statewide concern, uh, as it impacts uh, my district, which has uh, one of the highest poverty rates among African Americans in the nation, and particularly for African American children, so all of the issues that I've identified as items that I would be focusing my attention on uh, would be of particular benefit to the residents of District 11. And that's precisely why I'd like to be returned to the legislature to continue the agenda uh, that I've been working on.